Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be continuing Niagara and projectiles in Unreal 4. Specifically, we'll be covering destroying projectiles or exploding projectiles. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video, Niagara Projectiles, I recommend that you go check that out and come right back. This is a direct continuation of that. So, the first thing we want to do is open up our blueprint. And in here, we want to go to the event graph. Now, we're not going to be using event begin play or actor begin overlap or event tick. So we're just going to highlight all these and we're going to delete them. Now what we do want is we want to go to our sphere and we want to scroll all the way down until we get to events. Now this isn't the only way to do it, but we're going to use on component hit. We're going to click on this plus icon. Now when we do that, you'll see that this has a direct reference to the sphere. So when the sphere hits something, we're going to do something else. Now in this case, what we want to do is we're going to drag the pin out and we're going to look for destroy. And you'll see destroy actor show up. And what's nice about this is the target is self. So we're referencing this blueprint. So on component hit, when this sphere hits something, we're going to destroy this blueprint. So let's compile it and let's go check it out. So I'm going to go and click on play and simulate with my blueprint in the world. You'll see it goes and boom it's gone. So this is working perfectly. Now, if we wanted to add a few more bells and whistles to this, so say that we wanted this to bounce a few times and then destroy, we can do that. So we're going to open up our blueprint. And we'll make a little bit more room here. And I'm going to add a variable. In this variable, I'm going to name it something like health. And then in the details panel, I'm going to change this variable type to an integer. And before we can give it a default value, we have to compile it. So I'll compile, and I think I'm gonna give it a value of two. So we want something like two bounces, and then we want it to destroy. So I need to do two things. I'm gonna drag out the health, and I'm gonna get the health. So now we have information about what the health is. And then I also wanna set the health. So I'm gonna pull this up here, and I'm going to drag the on component hit. Whenever we hit, we're going to set the health again. And the way that we're going to set it is by subtracting one from the health. Each time we hit, we're going to subtract one from it until it gets to zero, and then we're going to destroy it. So I'm going to right click, and I'm looking for int minus int. And now I'm going to plug the health into the top pin of this. So we're doing health minus one, and then we're gonna set that right here. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to compare. We need to find a way to say, hey, if this is zero, then destroy this. So one way that we can do that is we're gonna drag out here and we'll start typing in compare. This is compare int. And we're gonna drag that output of the set right into input. So each time we hit something, we're going to subtract one from the health, and then we're going to set it. And then we're going to compare it to see if that value of health is zero or not. So if it's equal, we're going to destroy the actor. All right, so let's go test this out. We're going to hit compile, and we'll go and hit play. We'll go one, two, boom. All right, so now we have one more thing that we can do. And that's spawning another particle system. So in our blueprint, before we destroy this actor, we're going to try and spawn another system. Now, if we put the spawn after destroy actor, it won't actually spawn. So we want to put it right in here after the compare. So I'm going to drag out on the equal pin. And I'm going to type in spawn. And we want to go down to Niagara. And we're going to do spawn system at location. Now, in the system template, we're going to look for one of the default Unreal systems. So I'm going to type in simple explosion. And now let's go check this out. Let's just, let's just go take a look at what this does. So I'll compile, and I'm going to hit play. One, two, boom. Now, you can see that our particle system spawned, but it spawned at zero. And that's because we didn't give it a value. We didn't give it a location for where to spawn. So I'm going to drag out my sphere. 
to get a reference to it right here. And then I'm going to drag off of this pin and I'm going to type in location. And what we're looking for here is get world location. And we're going to take this value. And we're just going to plug it right into location. All right, let's compile this and let's go check it out. Hit play one, two, boom. And that system spawns right where we end. Let's see it one more time. One, two, boom. All right, guys, this should cover Niagara and destroying projectiles. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.